It's Winter Olympic time, and you're about to see a bunch of names with SZ in them. For Americans, that's SZ, but I'm in Canada, so I'm going to say SZ. Now, some of those names are Polish, and some of those names are Hungarian, and you should not get the two confused if you have any interest in saying them more or less like they're said in the original language. Today, I'm going to give you a rundown of Polish versus Hungarian, a little Olympic orthography smackdown. I'm just going to talk about the letters C, S, and Z. I am not covering the rest of the pronunciation of those languages today, because if I did, you'd probably freeze up or run away. Let's start with Polish. In Polish, C stands for C. S stands for S. Z stands for Z. This is great. Now, C with an accent on it, or C before an I, stands for CH. S with an accent on it, or S before an I, stands for SH. Z with an accent on it, or Z before an I, stands for ZH. Now, CZ stands for CH. SZ stands for SH. There is no ZZ, but Z with a dot on top of it, not an accent, but a dot, or RZ stands for ZH. At this point, you're probably thinking, wait, so S with an accent stands for SHA and SZ stands for SHA? Well, they're actually different sounds. We don't make this differentiation in English, but Polish does. German also does, but they don't spell it the same way. In German, you know the difference between ich, meaning I, and fish, meaning fish. Well, it's basically the same difference between Polish S accent, SHA, and SZ, SHA. Got that? I'm going to read that through one more time. T, ch, ch, s, sh, sh, z, z, z. Now, there's an old saying about Hungarians that a Hungarian is someone who enters a revolving door behind you and comes out ahead. I can neither confirm nor deny this stereotype, but I will tell you their orthography does nothing to dispel it. Okay, in Hungarian, c is t. S is SH. Z is Z. There is no CZ. CS is CH. ZS is Z. SZ is S. You got that? SZ and S are swapped around from what you would expect. This actually has a certain logic to it in that the S gives the SH palatalization and in any pair of letters, the second one indicates whether it's palatalized, and the first one indicates the other degrees, other details of the sound. So, C, Z, C, S, Ch. Z, 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 S, Sh. S, Sh, S, Z, S. Now, for practice, I'm going to give you three names from each Winter Olympic team, Polish and Hungarian. I'll start with the Polish because it's actually easier. It doesn't matter how frightening the Polish name may look to you at first. Once you get the hang of them, they really aren't that hard. An important thing to remember with Polish is the stress is always on the second last syllable. Always, 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 except when the word has one syllable. In which case, of course, it's on that syllable. So, I'm going to give you the pronunciation first, as a Polish speaker would say it. And then, as an English speaker would say in an English conversation, the first athlete is a snowboarder. Karolina Stockfish. Karolina Stockfish. The second one competes in the luge. Natalia Wojtuszczyszyn. Natalia Wojtuszczyszyn. The third one competes in speed skating. Magdalena Czyszczon. Magdalena Czyszczon. See, it's not that hard. It just looks hard, but once you get used to it, it is a snap. Now let's talk about the Hungarians. You need to know about Hungarian, the stress is always on the first syllable. Always, always, always on the first syllable. Another thing you should know, by the way, is that Hungarian has a vowel length distinction just like Finnish does. But while Finnish writes a letter twice to indicate that it's long, Hungarian uses an accent. And if the letter has two dots on it in the short version, it has two accents on it for the long version. Oh, there's one more thing. In Hungarian, Family names come first, just like in Chinese and Japanese and Vietnamese, even though it's not related to any of them. 
You won't hear it that way in the European context because the moment a Hungarian goes out of Hungary, they know everybody's going to want to put the family name last. But if you hear it in Hungarian, family name goes first. So let's start with two short track speed skaters. Yasapati Petra. Petra Yasapati. Bachkai Sharalutsa. Sharalutsa Bachkai. The third one is a cross country skier. Such Emuke. Emuki Such is about as close as you're going to come in an English context. You could push it a little, say Emuki Such, anything like that will be reasonably close if you want to make the effort. Got all that? The too long didn't listen version of all this is in Polish, S is S and SZ is SZ. In Hungarian, it's the other way around. SZ is S and S is SZ. Hey, get Cheers.